How is everybody doing today? My name is Master Zero, and welcome back to another reaction video. This time we are reacting to Neutron Stars, the most extreme things that are not black holes, by In a Nutshell. <laughs> Alright, so it's been a while. It's been like exactly one week since I've recorded a video, but not that y'all guys noticed because I was smart and decided to do videos for when I was off. So act like I wasn't even off. It doesn't matter. But I am going to start responding to comments again because I'm telling you, when I took a week off, I took like, I didn't even turn on my laptop. It was crazy. It was, it was nice. It was refreshing. Just, I still have my phone, obviously. But aside from like being in front of a computer and stuff for like a week straight, it was pretty, pretty enjoyable. I'm not going to lie. But, um. Onto this one. I was gonna do the, uh, I don't remember his full name, but the gray, the, I was gonna do that video that y'all guys, uh, requested to me, but I saw this one and it just came out like two hours ago, so I'm like, alright, I'm gonna react to that. Just keep doing in a nutshell videos, why not? So, without any further ado, uh, oh, I should probably talk about what I'm watching. I don't really know a lot about neutron stars or like space in general i mean like space the final frontier and stuff like that you know but yeah like i i haven't really got like i am fascinated deeply fascinated by space but i don't know i don't know a lot about it which i think is really cool watching these videos because you kind of learn more stuff that you don't already know so now without any further ado here is neutron stars by in a nutshell Neutron stars are one of the most extreme and violent things in the universe. Violent Giant wasn't in the title. Nuclei, only a few kilometers in diameter, but as massive as stars. And they owe their existence to the death of something majestic. Okay, I do know neutron stars. Never mind. Scratch that. I do know them. Okay. See, I just had to have a refresher. A little tiny Stars refresher course that is his intro. The, fragile balance. the mass of millions of billions of trillions of tons of hot plasma are being pulled inwards by gravity and now that's squeeze a lot. material together with so much force that nuclei fuse. Hydrogen yeah. fuses into okay. helium. This releases energy which pushes against gravity and tries to Just escape. Keep it going. As long as this balance exists, stars are pretty stable. Eventually, the Is that supposed to look like a uh, candy corn? Medium stars like our sun go through a giant phase where they burn helium into carbon and oxygen before they eventually Pretty turn sure into it just dwarfs. got rid of the earth there. stars many times the mass of our <laughs> sun, things get interesting when the helium is exhausted. That's a big For boy. A moment, the balance of pressure and radiation tips and gravity wins, squeezing the star tighter than before. The core burns hotter and faster. Can't wait till it goes boom. The stars swell by hundreds of times, fusing heavier and heavier elements. Carbon burns to neon in centuries, neon to oxygen in a year, oxygen to silicon in months, huh. and silicon to iron in a day. In a day. And then, death. Oh. Iron is nuclear ash. Just death. It has no energy to give and cannot be fused. That the makes sense. The suddenly stops and the balance ends. Without the outward pressure from fusion, the core is crushed by the enormous weight of the star above it. Aww. What happens now? The very is thing awesome it created destroys it. Particles like electrons and protons really don't oh. want to be near each other. I like this but music. The pressure of the collapsing star is so great I that usually electrons do. and protons fuse into neutrons, which then get squeezed together as tightly as in atomic nuclei. Fun. An iron ball the size of the Earth is squeezed into a ball of pure nuclear matter the size of a city. See, that's crazy. That's ridiculous. The, core, the whole star implodes, gravity pulling the outer layers in at 20. I want an explosion, not an implosion. This implosion bounces off the iron core, producing it's a pretty. shockwave <laughs> that explodes outwards and catapults the rest of the star into space. It's beautiful. This is what we call a supernova explosion, and it will outshine entire galaxies. What All remains right. of the star it's really is a neutron star. Its mass cool. is around a million times the mass of the Earth, but compressed to an object about 25 kilometers wide. That's crazy. That's it's the crazy the part about it. Of all living humans would fit it's just, into one let's just jam. Of uh, hey, is that the Tesseract? That's roughly it's just jammed. Tons in a all this stuff just inside this tiny little thing. Put another way, that's Mount Everest 
in a cup of coffee. Cool. In a cup of coffee. Side, a neutron star is unbelievably Not in extreme. There. Its gravity is the strongest outside black holes, and if it were any denser, it would become one. Oh. Light is bent around it, meaning you can see the front and parts of the back. Their surfaces That's pretty reach cool. a million degrees Celsius compared to a measly 6,000 degrees for our sun. Dang! Okay, let's look inside. That I did not star. know. Although Ooh, these dissected. giant atomic nuclei are stars, in many ways they're also like planets with solid crusts over a liquid core. I didn't know about the that either. The crust is extremely hard. The outermost layers are made of iron left over from the supernova, squeezed together in a crystal lattice with a sea of electrons flowing through them. Hmm. Going deeper, gravity squeezes nuclei closer together. We find fewer and fewer protons as most merge to neutrons. Awesome. Until we reach the base of the crust. Here, nuclei are squeezed together so hard that they start to touch. Protons huh. and neutrons rearrange, making long cylinders or spaghetti. sheets. Enormous nuclei with millions of protons and neutrons shaped like spaghetti and lasagna, lasagna? which physicists call uh, How did he pasta. pronounce it? Nuclear pasta is so dense that it may be the strongest. Okay, so I'm not I'm not going Earth. crazy. It was actually Basically spaghetti and lasagna. Lumps of pasta inside a neutron star can even make mountains, at most a few centimeters high, but many times as massive as the Himalayas. Dang! Eventually, beneath the pasta, we reach the core. We're not really sure what the properties of the matter are when they're <laughs> squeezed this hard. Protons Food and humor. neutrons might dissolve into an ocean of quarks, a so-called quark gluon plasma. Some of those quarks okay. might turn into strange quarks, making a sort yeah, of you strange went matter straight over my head so there, buddy. That we made a whole video about it. Oh! Or maybe they just stay protons and neutrons. Did you? I'm pretty sure I reacted to that sure. one. And that's why we do science. Yes. That's all pretty heavy stuff, literally. So <laughs> let's go back out into space. You're funny. Oh, whoa. When neutron stars first wow. Burst, they begin okay, to spin very, Sailor very Moon. fast, like a ballerina pulling her arms in. Neutron stars are celestial Good and Wonder Woman too. Many times per second. Old school this Wonder Woman. creates pulses because their magnetic field creates a beam of radio waves which passes every so time. So it's just an spin. amazing rave. These radio pulsars are super the best known type of dense. neutron star. Oh, cool. About 2000 are known of in the Milky Way. It's actually These magnetic fields not that much. are the strongest in the universe, a quadrillion times stronger than Earth's after they're born. They're called magnetars until they Nice! <laughs> but the absolute best kind of neutron stars are friends with other neutron stars. Aww. By radiating away energy as gravitational waves like ripples in space-time, their orbits yang and yang. decay, and they can crash into and kill each other in a kilonova explosion that spews out a lot of their guts. Oh. When they do, the conditions become so extreme that for a moment, heavy nuclei are made again. It's not fusion putting nuclei together this time, okay. but neutron-rich matter falling apart and reassembling. Huh. Only very recently, kind of like a starfish in a way. I know that's a stretch, the but of most of the heavy elements in the universe, like gold, uranium, and platinum, and dozens more. Cool. So then our two neutron stars Whoa. collapse and become a black hole, dying yet again. There we go. Not only do stars have Full to die circle. to create elements, sorta. They have not to really. I don't know why I said that. Over millions of years, that's pretty crazy. That's awesome. The galaxy, but some of them end up in a cloud which gravity Nebula. together to form stars and planets. That's a Marvel stars. reference. Our solar system is one example, and the remains of those neutron stars that came before us are all around us. Our that's pretty cool. Come on, world you gotta admit, that's pretty cool. Elements neutron stars made in eons past. Sending these atoms on a 13 billion year journey to come together and make us and our world. That's cool. And that that's really cool. cool. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> Until then, we can look at them on paper. Yeah, I saw that you had a new calendar, buddy. Space era calendar has arrived. I'm probably gonna get that bad boy. Until we sell out, and then never again. Oh. Visit the cloudy cities of Venus. Dyson I mean, just just the artwork and cross the borders of our solar It's so system. cool. Shipping from the U.S. and from Europe for the first time, but we cool. deliver to every country all over the world. You could also get a plushie or hoodie. Can or I get the pug? We I think that's a pug. Hi, you. you're adorable. Get it for Christmas for your friends, families, and kids, or 
to distract yourself. If anybody, if anybody wants to get that for me, you know, for a Christmas gift, that'd be amazing. Zone of sun-like stars in the observable universe, and you will never visit any of them. Okay. The last few years we've sold them all. No rush, but the clock is ticking. Getting stuff from our shop. Yes, I'm watching all of this. I don't even care. Because of you, we can keep this channel free for everyone and make more beautiful things. That's awesome, man. Love the jacket, too. That's awesome. Dog is a really awesome touch. I love it. And the music. All right. So that was really, really cool. I'm, I'm, I love these videos because it's like, yeah, I don't know. I don't know a lot of stuff about what I'm watching, which is totally fine. Like, I think these videos are meant for people that don't know what they're talking about like it's it's like a like a his, uh, history it's like a science lesson like it's super super cool and it's really interesting how how it just the knowledge just soaks through you in these videos we're little tiny bite-sized pieces and it's kind of funny because i've said that in like one of my first ever in a nutshell videos i've reacted to like I just caught myself saying just about the same stuff I was talking about in there and it's just it's just cool like stuff like this is just awesome to me and just the fact that in a nutshell's channel is able to do that for you like you said for free like that's really really cool like that's so awesome so thank you everybody so much for watching if you like this video feel free to leave a like down below because it makes me feel all warm and fuzzy on the inside and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more awesome videos like this one so with that said i have been master zero y'all guys have been fantastic and i will see y'all in the next episode later days